Hey, what's up guys? I got a little bit different of a video for you today, uh, but I think it's something very important that everybody should know because it's something I wish I would have known how to do long ago. Um, and it was something that I avoided because I thought it was more difficult or dangerous to do um, than it actually is. So that topic today is gonna be flying with firearms. Um, we just got back from Florida Today, actually, our flight got canceled last night and we got changed change of flight today. But anyways, uh, we go to Florida quite a bit and uh, us being from Indiana, our concealed carry is uh, valid in Florida or honored by Florida. So I always fly with firearms there. Uh, it makes me feel a lot better going on vacation knowing that uh, I'm not going to be a victim of a circumstance. So here's what I got. Got a gun case. This one's a little big. It's actually very big, but when I found out that I was able to fly with a firearm, this was literally the only one that they had at the store and I was flying out right away. So I just bought it because I didn't want to wait. But it serves its purpose. So the TSA rules um, say that it has to be, your firearms have to be in a locked container um, by themselves. I've been to a bunch of different airports and every TSA agent does something different from airport to airport. I usually have this container inside of my luggage. Uh, most airports prefer it that way, but I've had some airports actually pull this case out, put a boarding or a packing tag on it and check it in by itself. We pretty much always fly Southwest, so my experience is going through Southwest and they send you to the TSA. Um, that being said, flying out of Midway, um, I actually go to, they make you go to a TSA agent, you open up your luggage, you unlock um, your firearm case, and they swab it, go through it all. Flying out of Florida, you literally just say you're declaring a firearm, and uh, they just make you fill out this tag, they tape it to it, you throw it in your luggage, they didn't even check. Um, sometimes they might throw it to a different scanner, but the last few times it's literally they put the tag on it and you're gone. Uh, however, just a couple of the rules of what to do. Um, like I said, I always have this inside my luggage. When I go in to hand my bags over to Southwest agent, they say, hey, how's it going? I need to declare a firearm. And they go, okay, they'll either send you somewhere else, but that's all you got to say, they'll get you going. It's, you don't have to be worried about it, don't have to feel uneasy. It's, people do it all the time, um, and you should, really shouldn't even have to sweat about it. So anyway, the only thing that, uh, looking up on YouTube and different videos of what, like there's a bunch of different TSA videos and everybody's kind of different. And like I said, every airport's going to be a little bit different. But a big thing is you have it locked. Most of them say you have to have two locks on it, which I do, but that's mainly because if I were to only have a lock on this side, someone could still kind of like fidget this side up and grab their hand in there and maybe get your firearm. Uh, so when I have it locked, um, I always have the keys in my pocket when I'm flying. You don't want to just throw them in your luggage. They should stay on your person. So anyways, I got the locks in here. Since I have such a big case, I carry two firearms. Really the only stipulations that they say are that they need to be unloaded and ammo in um, its separate container. I just have the old Horn D boxes that I keep, so I just throw the ammo in here. I have the firearms unloaded in my holsters. I bring extra magazines with their holsters. Um, and they're unloaded but honestly that's all they do they don't check it's not like I'm going to the gun store and the TSA agent is racking the gun to make sure it's not loaded um, I guess they honor that for you well at least for me um, they've never checked it but literally in Florida they never even look inside of it I don't know what they do uh, after it gets out of my hands but I've never gotten a tag saying that they've opened it up but in Chicago Midway, I have to open it up, they swab it, and that's pretty much it. They don't, like I said, they don't look at the firearm, see if it's unloaded, anything like that. Uh, 
that's pretty much it. So like I said, after that, I would lock it, throw it in my luggage. Um, but you don't have to be stressed out about it and you don't have to think too much of it. It's, it's super simple. I've never been felt, um, you know, like uneasy about it. Everybody makes you feel super comfortable. Like it's something normal, which it should be. Um, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to fly state to state, um, and have our second amendment rights, um, acknowledged pro tip. Not sure. I haven't had to use this one yet, but what I do is I always keep a copy of the U S constitution in here. So if someone ever asks me, you know, why I'm doing it or why I should be allowed to do it, I just point them to the second amendment right here. Um, and, and what the second amendment of our constitution says is a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Like I said, I haven't had to use that, but if I have a TSA agent um, ask me about it, I'm just going to pull out this pamphlet. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of insight. Um, like I said, I feel a hundred times safer flying with my firearms, um, especially when you get to your destination in the United States. Um, I can carry it, go on with my life. I know that I'm able to protect myself and my family. Um, and like I said, go about my life. Before you fly anywhere, uh, just make sure that you check on what kind of tyrannical uh, gun laws they have in that state you're going to um, and see if your concealed carry is even valid in those states. Um, USCCA.com has a lot of good info on stuff like that. Um, I have a CCW app that you know you punch in your permits and they'll tell you what states you're good in. But it's always very smart and important to you know make sure you're not uh, breaking any laws, you know, carrying a firearm in another state. One last thing to remember is when you get to where you're going, since this will more than likely be inside your luggage, it's just going to come out on the carousel like normal luggage. Um, so you, you know, I like getting there right away and making sure that it can't get in the, you know, the wrong person's hand. Um, I've had one time where they actually checked my ID, like they held my luggage aside and I had to go you know, prove it was mine with ID, but I haven't other than that one time. So just be mindful that wherever you land, um, every airport might treat it a little bit different, even airline to airline. Like I said, my experience was Southwest, so I have no clue how any of the other airlines take care of it. Um, but that's really it. Um, super simple, hope this is uh, helpful for you. Uh, get you wanting to be able to fly with your firearms to protect yourself wherever you go on vacation business whatever um, that's pretty much all i got leave me a comment subscribe whatever you guys want to do i appreciate the uh, watch and just remember stay strapped or get clapped